let me say a word in defense of reason in dialogue with faith. Because faith is that proof. Faith unites us to that substance. But reason, in order to realize its full potential, needs the horizons revealed by and truths contained in the faith. And not just any faith, but the Catholic faith. Nancy and I, after our 11th child had been born, little Stephen, we wanted to get away and go to um, dinner, just the two of us, while we brought the baby, so just the three of us. So we went to the Olive Garden in the town near where we live. Some of you know this story. And um, when we got to our table, the waitress was ooing and aahing over the little baby and asking all the typical questions. Is it a boy or is it a girl? And then she asked my wife the question, is he your first? <laughs> this is our 11th child, keep in mind, okay? So Nancy looks at me, and with a mischievous look on her face, with her eyes, she says, do you want to tell her? And I shook my head and said, no, you can go ahead and tell her. So she told her, this is our 11th child. Now, this poor woman didn't know how to act when she heard 11 children. So she went and got a few other waitresses, and they came to the table. And they're looking at us, and they're obvious, obviously disapproving. You could tell by their, the looks on their faces and the comments, too. 11 children. Why would you want 11 children? That's... Oh my gosh, that's crazy. And then they started talking about their own contraceptive habits. So one of the, you know, like our, our waitress said, well, I'm on the pill. The other one said, yeah, well, I got my tubes tied. The other one said, well, I made my husband get a vasectomy. And I'm thinking, I just want a plate of lasagna. I don't, I don't want to know about this. This is not what I'm here for. And so in the midst of all this disapproving commentary, my wife smiled at these women and said, just this, she just said, well, my husband and I believe that children are a blessing from God, and we believe in being open to life so that God can bless our marriage. But that was like putting water on a campfire. And they went away back to their work. We finished our meal. 45 minutes later, I paid the bill, and we went out to the car with the baby. And I heard footsteps running up behind us, and I, I turned and saw it was our waitress. And she came up, and she said, I didn't want you to leave without saying thank you. And I knew I hadn't left that big of a tip, so she wasn't talking to me. <laughs> she said, I just want to say thank you. And she was talking to my wife. And then she, she said, she said, what you said in there about children being a blessing from God and being open to life, she said, I I'm on the pill, and my whole life I've figured two kids max, that's it for me. But she said, what you said stirred my heart. And I know deep down inside that what you said is true. She said, I'm going home tonight. I'm telling my husband I'm getting off the pill. I don't know how he's going to react, but I'm telling him because I want God to bless my marriage, and I didn't want you to leave without saying thank you. So she gave Nancy a little embrace. She went back into the restaurant. She went back into the restaurant. Thank you. And she, we've never seen her again, but I have to assume that not only was her life transformed, but that marriage was transformed. And, and who knows how many new souls are now in existence who will praise God for all eternity. All because of a simple, gentle response. So those are two things that I've learned, two examples of what I've learned about the simplicity and how important it is for us to avoid as much as possible trying to bury people with lots of complicated explanations. The simpler, the better. And when it's necessary to be more, more developed and more systematic, that's fine but uh, I would begin with the simple and work toward the more complicated.